I have found a very rare disease that no other man or woman or even a scientist has came across to. It's a very deadly disease and I would even recommend you to even have this disease. And it can wipe out a human identity in a matter of seconds. And that is called delusional stuck inside your ass syndrome. It's a pretty bad disease. Every time when a person brags about anything and cares about only self-interest, magically attempts to get out of it with a shovel. But then the hole gets deeper and deeper and steeper because you're digging yourself a hole, you dumbass. And you might be asking yourself, Michael, what the hell are you talking about, you dumbass kid? Well, that's what I'm about to get to little shabby little boy. This sweet golden video is about a 52-year-old man boasting about everything that the house would have and not to mention he is still trying to act like a 25-year-old and still trying to look like a 25-year-old. I mean, this guy lives in a fake world. I mean, I understand if he's rich, but you can tell this guy gives no fucks about anyone else besides him. And why, you may ask. Well, it starts out that the interviewer named Michael, yes, very ironic, was asking questions throughout other questions about why is your home going to foreclosure? Now, Miami, it sounds like a fucking porn star guy's name, responds with, I'm going to change the world. It's going to make me very rich. I deserve this. First of all, the world doesn't owe you jack shit. And the fact that he sits there in his own delusional mind, that he's changing the world by him making more money is completely a messed up mind. Secondly, how can you not make a differentiation between wealth and being rich? Wealth, a wealthy person is a person that is financially stable in most things. Not everything essentially speaking is everything going to be financially stable for you. However, you are rich by definition, but you make a rich poor decision, which makes you into being millions of dollars in debt. What a fucking dumbass. I have never met a man or even heard of a man becoming rich and poor at the same time, with a whopping $165 million in debt, because this man, every time when he looks at his disgusting pupils, either looks in the mirror naked to flex his 2 inch punisher, which ex explains his fifth wife already, or either worn out from too much thinking from a dumb decision to becoming foreclosured. And if you don't know what the definition of what foreclosure means, it basically means if you are a homeowner and you stop paying a loan, that, that basically the loan has due dates. Well, guess what? You're in fucking luck. You're the luckiest man alive. You are now becoming an owner, but essentially becoming the bank's bitch until you pay your due dates of everyday life. 100 million dollars in debt, which is essentially that man himself, Niall Miami. This guy is delusional. You'll see why. Play the video right now. I need this. We need to get this done. Do we need to get this done? I, I don't want to sound like harsh or abrupt or anything, but there's been some rumors out there that the house has gone into foreclosure. The price is now 350 million instead of 500 million. What's going on? Tell us all about it. So. <clears throat> You got to understand the whole story of it, it's not just a house and it's not just a sale. And this is what some of the problems that I got into. Um, I bought this house, this land in 2012 and and I started developing it. And during that time, I was a very different person. I was married and like everything in my life has changed completely. 180% from l losing all the money I had to, to pushing through and coming up with the craziest world changing idea like doing pay-per-view platform events at this house. So essentially speaking, uh, for like the first three minutes, he basically brags about what he has done inside of his house, but then never really answers the, you know, the question about it, uh, about like, hey, asshole what, what why what, why are you bankrupt like, why are you in this situation right here this this could have been way easier it could have lasted at least three seconds he could have just said oh i made a really dumb financial de uh, decision about getting a loan of 165 thousand dollars oh sorry uh 165 million dollars and i didn't pay it and guess what i'm running around with no handcuffs in my hand and so no, no policeman can capture me because I'm here bragging about in front of the whole internet about, you know, me just bragging about this house that I got that is massive, but in loans. And essentially speaking, it's unrealistic. Fuck you guys. And doing what I think 
was meant for this house in the first place, which is having it be the beacon of hope and having it really help the world. And that has been my mission statement since the last interview I had with you. And it is still my mission statement. And I have never given up and I will never give up until the very, very end. But I, which, is, which is totally admirable. Um, my hat is off to you for that. Yep. Uh, but again, looking at the, the worst case scenario, and let's say the house does sell, yes. what type of price do you think it will realistically bring? I have no idea. In today's market? I have no idea. Listen, well, you say in today's market. Today's market's unbelievable. This is the best market we've had. Um, do you think it could be the 500 million? I don't know. I think that if it's 200 million or if it's 500 million, I think it would be a horrible travesty because this house could change hundreds of thousands of people's lives. This house could make me very rich because, listen, I'm not one to say I'm going to sell everything and go out and give everything I have away. I've worked my, my butt off for this and I, I deserve, I deserve this. I'm an unbelievable human being and I deserve to have this house. Holy shit! What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Is this man even alive? Is this man, does this man have the same receptors as a human body? Does this man have the XY chromosomes of a man? Like, what is he talking about? He's literally talking about every single psychotic person I've ever heard of my life. This guy's talking like fucking Jeffrey Dahmer for fucking God's sake. This guy is literally saying the words of every self-interested only by myself, only me, me, me. Dude, chill out. You don't deserve everything. Does the bank own you one billion dollars for being- For having a two-inch Punisher? No! You don't deserve that. No one owes you anything. The only thing that deserves anything is the fucking bank's money from your shitty fucking decision. This man is literally talking out of his ass. This guy is out of touch with reality. Uh, essentially speaking, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's, he's talking about every single little thing about him only. This house, this house, this house is mine, mine. Fuck the other kids. Fuck the other, the, fuck the other people who wants this house. Whatever this fucking, uh, this Batman underground type. I don't know how to explain it. This looks like a fucking Iron Man house that he would have. House and do what I want with it. I deserve it. And I'm never going to give up on that. But I've learned something along the way that has, that has. I have learned that I am now in debt and I am now panicking, and, but I'm hiding it by being a very assured man. Instead of being panicked about this situation, I'm bragging about everything that this house could do, but it can't. Shut the fuck up. Just learn from your mistake and own up to it. What you're doing right now is you're basically crying behind your own mask. This is a terrible decision. If I was this mad, I would be crying on my knees and ask God for my fucking help because you are doing a horrible decision, especially in front of a camera. You're basically laughing at yourself and everyone is doing that for you. Kept me focused and that is Maktub, which means it's already written. Everything's already written. You can do nothing about whatever is going to happen. And you just have to go with it and do your best. And that's what I, I have come up with that mentality now. And that's what I live by, that it is already written by the hand and, and whatever is going to happen is going to happen. All right, so essentially speaking, if I was going 120 miles per hour down my freeway right now with like massive traffic, am I going to expect out of that decision or even out of that scenario that I'm going to come out alive? That's basically his scenario. What you are doing right now, you're making a financial decision that will fuck up your whole life. What you are doing is basically my, my, my analogy of you going down my freeway 120 miles per hour and essentially almost like killing yourself. You are doing that. Now, Naya, whatever, your fuck, whatever the fuck your name is, you're doing a bad decision that makes everyone turns his dick inside of his ass. You're doing a horrible decision. Stop. By the way, I shit you not, uh, later into the video, like seven minutes into the video, he says that he's going to make his own bank. Yes, you heard that right. He's going to make his own bank. Uh, just make sure that pay your own bank and your own property tax and uh, don't hide away from your taxes and pay your own loans. And then you can make a bank. <laughs> this guy's a joke. No matter what happens, I have 
incredible, earth-shattering, life-changing news to give people. So tell us this. <laughs> what an ironic statement coming from this man. This guy said something like what fucking Michael Scott would say. I'm going to make earth-shattering, life-changing news to give to people. Like, something stupid like that, like, something that wouldn't work or pertain to his success. This is more, most likely a failure to his own, his own little house that he's building. I found dirt houses in Minecraft better than what this guy is building. You're just building something out of nothing really in touch in reality. By the way, if you also seen the, the, his mansion or whatever the fuck you want to call it, it, it it's really bad. I, I, I will probably even go to like a different video for that probably next week because the, the, the mansion that he has, it's literally so bad. I'm going to stop this video right now because I just got a package delivery uh, that I need to open and um, I need to open it right now. And so basically, uh, this guy literally has nothing to, to do with anything with the human specimen. So like he doesn't know what he's talking about. Just because you have a lot of money doesn't equate how much intelligence uh, you have or how much intellect do you intake. It just means uh, for this guy, he just he just doesn't even sound human to me anymore. I don't even I don't even believe that this guy is human, and that's not me being like a, something racist or like anything. I think this guy is just stupid as hell. But yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Until next week.